affair is a luxury of youth, and hair loss and baldness are often an inescapable truth among men and women alike as the years progress. But while science has not found a way to reverse time, it has thankfully developed ways to reverse its effects. When it comes to permanent baldness, the quickest and most effective course of action would have to be hair transplants. Simply put, a hair transplant is a procedure where hair follicles from hair loss resistant areas of the scalp are harvested and transplanted into bald spots. The procedure is relatively painless and requires very little downtime. Best of all, when properly done, the procedure results in an absolutely natural looking full head of hair, instantly restoring one's youthful appearance. Mark Medic, headed by Dr. Theresa Marie Reyes Cacas, is an internationally accredited clinic that offers specialized yet affordable hair transplants for its clients. You've heard the expression, your head of hair. And that means you must keep it intact and nurture it and keep it healthy. So we're going to get tips from Dr. Therese. Therese, I know that you have a specialty, mm -hmm. and that is the hair transplant. Yes. How, how difficult or challenging is that? Well, actually, with a hair transplant, I think the most difficult part would be um, to build a team. Yeah, because it involves very tedious work, and the team has to be, you know, they should have lots of patience because it's a whole day's work and it's a very tedious work. So really. it's meticulous? Very meticulous. You very, very tedious, fine hand. Very fine hand, very talented hand, yes. and good eye. Because it's very small, right? Okay, so how does that work? It's like planting mm -hmm. rice. <laughs> something like that, okay. yes. Something very similar to that. We actually get the hair the good hair from the back and the sides of I the scalp. Here, you know? Yes, yes. Why is it good hair here? Mm -hmm. Why is it considered good hair? Mm -hmm. Because most men, and actually for some women, uh, the hair at the back and at the sides is retained, even if they get totally bald. Mm -hmm. This is because the hair at the back and the sides is uh, quite resistant to the hormone, which influences uh, hair loss. And the hormone would be? Uh, the hormone, the name of the hormone is DHT or dihydrotestosterone. So this is a byproduct of the male hormone, testosterone. That's why balding is also usually uh, more commonly seen in uh, males. Okay, so As you're saying that, but we need this, men and women need testosterone. Yes, right. both would have, yes. So what causes the hair loss? A depletion of testosterone? Actually, it's uh, for men, it's actually the genetic um, sensitivity to the hormone, which they inherited from their parents or grandparents or somebody from the family. So it's a so sensitivity it's more of the sensitivity, the right? Yes, it's okay. more of the sensitivity. Um, most men would always have normal levels, but the sensitivity to the hormone differs. So for some men, uh, and the sensitivity is like genetically inherited. I see. But for women, it's more complicated. It's not just the the hormone. Okay. It's actually uh, different factors. Okay. What are um, these? Uh, factors such as again, the number one would be genetic susceptibility. Uh, external factors like um, oxidative stress, uh, stressful okay. conditions. That's like why, uh, abusing the hair, yes, something like that, chemicals, right, correct, and yes, then correct. maybe also tying it, right? Yes, right, traction, there's also a thing called uh, traction, alopecia, like for um, African-American blacks where they tie their hair really tight, mm -hmm. and then after a while they notice some bald spots in their, their scalp.